Nearly five months ago, they were rushed to Children's Hospital for emergency care injured during the Waukesha Christmas Parade attack. But tonight, a pair of Waukesha South baseball players returned to the field for the first time. Fox 6's Sam Kramer joins us live now from Waukesha, where the community continues, Sam, to rally around one another. Yeah, hi there, Steph. Both Eric Teagues and Tyler Pudliner told me they didn't think they'd be back on this field this soon. It really didn't matter who scored the most runs. Tonight's game was more about showing what it means to be Waukesha strong. Inside the bullpen at Frame Park, it looks just like a game of catch. It needs everything. It's been my favorite game for as long as I can remember. But considering just how far Eric Teagues and Tyler Pudliner have come to get here, this pregame warm-up is anything but routine. You know, the accident happened, we heard his injuries, you know, they, they tell you what's going on and you just think in the back of your mind, he's not playing baseball this year. Teagues and Pudliner were playing in the Waukesha South Band at last year's Christmas parade when they were both struck and rushed to the hospital. Teagues broke his femur, scapula, several vertebrae and more. Pudliner's injury centered around his core and teeth. Let's go boys! Yet nearly five months later. Number five, Junior Eric Teagues. <laughs> Teagues returned Wednesday for the Waukesha South Blackshirt, starting on the mound against South Milwaukee. Let's go, bud. In front of bleachers full of the friends and family who helped him get here. I think it's just like the love that my family has given me. Then like going to PT twice a week has really helped as well. And he didn't do it alone. Catcher, Tyler Pudliner. Pudliner started his first varsity game too as Teagues catcher. The pair proving even when life throws curveballs, a little support can go a long way. The biggest thing I can say is special that we're still here and able to step in between the lines and be able to play. Now it was South Milwaukee who left here with a win, but you know another point that stood out tonight is that, that this team's support for this city and this community of Waukesha extends beyond its two teammates. Each black shirt had a number 23 sticker decal on the back of their helmet, and that represents it's paying honor to eight-year-old Jackson Sparks. He was the youngest person killed in that parade attack. He wore number 23 for his youth, ba youth baseball team, the Waukesha Blazers. We're live tonight in Waukesha. Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. What a night. Sam, thanks. So wonderful to see those teens on the field.